For decades, Detroit, Michigan has been nearly synonymous with big, gas-willing American vehicles. But these days, the Motor City sees a much greener future, one driven by electric energy. And the race is on. Aaron Bragman is a research analyst at IHS Global Insight. EVs and electrification of the vehicle is really going to be the way of the future. It's not going to, it's not going to add to the internal combustion engine uh, vehicle. It's going to replace it in many ways. By 2020 or so, in order to meet the new CAFE standards that we're looking at right now, you could have as many as one in four vehicles be hybrid of some sort. Starting next year, European and American consumers will see an array of new hybrid electric vehicles hitting the road, but not all of the new concepts are coming from the big three. With its Karma model, Fisker Automotive is targeting the high end of the market. Henrik Fisker is the company's CEO. We're not going to compete with, you know, uh, uh, GM, Chrysler, and Ford, really. Uh, you know, they're in a different market segment, you know, in, in, the, in maybe the fifteen to $30,000 cars. Uh, and we are really uh, competing with the premium segment, the foreign car makers from Germany, from, from uh, uh, you know, Japan. Chrysler and General Motors each pocketed part of a multi-billion dollar U.S. government handout late last year. It came with strings requiring stepped-up development of eco-friendly models. The Volt, along with other electric vehicles expected to hit the market from Chrysler and Ford, may serve to brighten the Motor City's future. Ruben Ramirez, Reuters, Detroit. Mm -hmm.